Hi, welcome to the Pool Guy Podcast Show Favorite Episodes. These are some of the favorite episodes that I've recorded for my podcast show. I'm going to put these up on YouTube along with the weekly podcast that I put up here. So I hope you enjoy these favorite podcast episodes. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. Hi, and welcome to the Pool Guy Podcast Show. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about pricing a green pool cleanup. Now, it's a little bit area dependent, but I'll give you what we charge here in Southern California. And you can probably go from there if you're in Texas or Florida or Arizona. You kind of get the price in your region. But I think based on this pricing, you can set it pretty easily in your area. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's Referral Program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro. I think the most important thing to keep in mind when you're doing a green pool cleanup is that you don't want to lose money on it. And so the pricing at the initial time of doing the bid it's pretty critical so that you are not just going there and throwing a bunch of chemicals in or if you're going to flock the pool. Whichever method you're using is going to take time and energy. And the last thing you want to do is, of course, spend all that time and energy there and not get paid for it. So let me give you a few things to look for when you arrive at the green pool. The first thing you want to look at, of course, is if the house is just totally in disarray itself. It may be a foreclosure that the customer had just purchased. But if they've been living there for a long time and there's broken down cars or a bunch of junk in the backyard or it looks just really disheveled, just be cautious going forward because there may be a chance you're not going to get the balance of your money. And when I say balance of your money, it's a good idea to charge people that you don't know a portion of the green pool cleanup. That way you don't get stiffed later on. And this is one of the things, the first things you have to know about, about losing money in a green pool cleanup. If they don't pay you the balance or pay you the full amount when you're finished, then you've just lost your money, of course. So I suggest getting one of those little Dougals from Square for your phone. They can either sell you the money, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, whatever you want to use. I would suggest getting enough to cover the chemicals. So tell them that you're investing in the chemicals to do the green, green pool cleanup and that you need them to give you a deposit on that. And, you know, 180, 200, whatever you want to charge them for that. And then you go from there. Now, if they're unwilling to give you a deposit for the chemicals, then you have to kind of decide if you can trust that person or if they're just not trusting you. You know, sometimes people don't like to give money to people they don't know. So it may just be that hesitancy on their part versus the fact that they don't want to pay you later on. So you have to decide at that point if you want to go forward. So a few things to note when you're going to do a green pool cleanup is to look at the equipment. You want to make sure that the equipment is something that you can work with to get the pool turned around. So if the motor looks like it's 20 years old and you turn it on, it's making a lot of noise, it may inhibit your ability to clean this pool up. If there's a really old filter or if the customers don't want to invest in new filter elements, grids or cartridges, or to change the sand in the sand filter, you may not be able to turn this pool around. So the equipment, I think, is half the battle when you're doing a green pool cleanup. And so address with the customer that you've observed the equipment and you think that this is the problem that you're going to have with clearing this pool up. And so if they need to add other things like new filter elements, and I think a lot of cases this is kind of one of the things that needs to be done with a green pool is changing out the grids or the cartridge if you have a single cartridge or multiple cartridges. These may need to be changed out for the pool to turn around. And so at this point, the customer needs to be willing to change those elements. So if they have a standard grid type DE filter, you know, $280, $300 for all eight grids is not unheard of. If they have four cartridges in there, you know, you can charge $280, $300 for those also, depending on the size of the cartridges. Single cartridges vary in price. And so that's a factor too. And if you're going to replace anything in their equipment, motors, pumps, the filter elements, or the filter itself, you of course want to get a deposit on that, half the money up front if you can. Again, it's up to you how you do your business, but I prefer to get the money sent to me before I do the project, or at least half of the money, because I don't know who, who these people are, and I've definitely been burned enough times out there. And with all the instant payment apps out there right now, 
there really is no good reason for them not to send you the money so they can Zelle it again. Venmo, these are my two favorite ones there. Um, I prefer Zelle over everything else. Um, but they can definitely send you the money so that you can get the parts for them. And you can just explain to them that you're picking up, you know, the cartridge, the uh, DE grids and you need to pay for them. And so they need to give you the money for that. And you can, of course, invoice them for that. No problem. So they, they, they have some kind of paper trail, you know, that you're not going to just get the money and, and run. And if you've noticed, I haven't even gotten to the green pool itself yet. I'm still on the equipment. I'm still on different assessments here. And this is kind of what you have to think about when you're doing a green pool cleanup. You can't just look at the pool and go from there. It's actually you're working yourself backwards at this point. So you want to look at the equipment, look at the customer, look at the surroundings, and then go from there. So make sure the pool has power. All these things are factors. And now after you've established, you know, the customer is going to pay you half the money, that the equipment is decent and working, that they're willing to pay for the new filter elements if necessary, or whatever needs to be running. So now let's look at the pool itself. And what I like to do is to assess the green pool based on levels. So level five green pool is basically a swamp. You have, you know, frogs swimming in there, mosquito larvae, you can't see the bottom. If you were to put your leaf rake on the bottom and move it on the bottom, you would just get a plume of gunk, you know, on the bottom that comes up out of your leaf rake or brush when you brush the pool. So to me, that's like a level five green pool. And it can be chemically turned, but if there's over two inches of gunk on the bottom, you may have to drain that pool, refill it, give it a chlorine wash, actually give it a chlorine wash first, then refill it, uh, back myself up there. And that, that may be that particular pool's remedy because there's so much gunk on the bottom that it would take a long time to chemically treat that pool. I also recommend that at any level of these green pool cleanups, if you decide to chemically treat the level 5 pool, you can do it, but you're going to need a portable cleanup pump if the customer does not have a D filter or sand filter with a multi-port valve that you can put in waste mode to vacuum out the waste. And a lot of customers in Southern California don't have that setup. And the only other option then would be to vacuum it into the filter, which is going to clog it up and make the job much harder to do. And so a portable pump is definitely necessary. You can build one of these pretty easily. I prefer using a one horsepower above ground pool pump with the plug already on there. You can just plug it in. Installing a check valve in the front really helps with priming because most of these plug-in pumps don't have, are not self-priming and so you're going to have trouble priming them. But with a check valve in front, very easy to prime those. I have a video on my channel that details how to build a portable cleanup pump. And then you would simply chemically treat the pool like you normally would, and then when everything's on the bottom, you would vacuum out to waste, quote-unquote, with your portable cleanup pump. And this really saves a lot of time and effort and filter cleanings on your part, so I highly recommend investing in it. I think you can do everything for less than 300 bucks um, with the check valve, the pump, the ho extra hose for the back of it, and the fitting. So it's very easy to do, and I highly recommend it. Now that's a level 5 pool that I started talking about. Level 4 is a little bit better. Maybe there's some larvae growing, but you can kind of, when you brush it, it's not too bad and not a lot of stuff comes up. A level three doesn't have anything growing in it, no bugs or frogs, anything like that. Um, but you still can't see the bottom. A level two is better. You can probably see the steps in the shallow end, so it's not too bad. And then a level one pool is just green algae in, in different places, but the water is still fairly clear. And based on what level you're looking at, would be how much you're going to charge the customer to turn the pool around because you're going to need more chemicals for the higher level green pool, also more filter cleaning, and more time involved with those higher level green pools. So let me give you some minimal charges. If I get to a pool and it's a level four, I'm going to charge the customer $450 to $500. And this includes two or three filter cleanings, two or three return visits, and the chemicals needed to turn it around. And this is for a medium sized pool, maybe 15,000 gallons or less. The larger the pool, the more money you have to charge. So if it's a you know, 20,000 or 22,000 gallon pool, then you're looking at 600 or 650 uh, based on the chemicals and the amount of time it's gonna take to turn this pool around. Now, if you're dealing with like a level one pool or level two pool, let's say that it's not too bad, you can, of course, charge, you know, 300 350 and get away with it because you probably just need one filter cleaning and maybe just one more return visit. But if you get to those really high-level ones, it's going to take a lot of work to get those cleared up. So you want to charge for that. 
I know some areas, the green pool cleanups are a lot less money, and it may not even be worth your effort if you're not going to get paid a decent amount of money to take care of it. Now, a lot of the times the person will say, hey, you know, if you clean the pool and get it back in shape, I'll go on monthly service. Now, in that case, you have to kind of consider how much money you're going to make over the course of a year or two with this particular customer. So if you charge 120 a month, you know, you just kind of multiply that by one year. And what is that, uh, 1400 or something like that? And so this particular customer is going to give you $1,400 over the course of a year as a monthly service customer. And you can definitely give some discounts at that point if you want just to kind of land that account because who knows if he's going to call someone else right behind you or if someone else is coming. So you can tell him normally this would be $500. But if you want to go on monthly service after I clear it up, I can do it for you for $400. And you can kind of work it like that to kind of land the account. But you just don't want to be giving discounts if you're not going to get anything back yourself. And there may also be potential extra money on the equipment. As let's say they're going to need a new filter or a new pump. Then you want to consider that also when you bid the green pool cleanup itself. So that you can kind of capture the new equipment install yourself. And that kind of really adds to your bottom line versus charging, you know, the full price for the green pool. And then they don't want you to do the equipment or something like that. You want to make sure you land that to maximize your efforts over there. And to be honest with you, green pool cleanup is a lot of work, you know, but you can land a lot of customers if you do it correctly and if you price it correctly. Now, if the customer is just trying to get the pool cleared up, maybe because they have a tenant coming in and they don't really want service or, you know, maybe they're going to do it themselves. They just want you to clean it up. Then I would definitely charge them the full price on that because you're not going to go back to that stop and you want to make sure you get paid for your effort at that point. And so you kind of price it that way. But bottom line, I don't really do a green pool cleanup for less than $400 unless I'm getting the customer's account. And it's a lot of work involved here in Southern California because we have cartridge filters. We have a lot of D filters with the push pull backwash valve. And so you really can't vacuum the waste. And so I'm bringing my portable pump out there. It takes time to set it up and time is money. And so if you're unfamiliar with what to charge for the green pool cleanup, you can probably break it down just in time and labor. So for the assessment, you're spending about 30 minutes there talking to the customer, checking on the equipment, getting everything ready. And then if they decide to go with you, you're going to start the process, brush the pool, you know, chemically treat it, clean the filter, and that's going to take another half an hour or so. So one hour is your initial visit. And then, of course, you're going to come back the next day, maybe put some more chemicals in, brush the pool. You may not be able to vacuum it yet if everything hasn't settled down at the bottom. And then maybe even day three, you're going to vacuum the waste. That takes time to set up your pump and go through all that. And you may have to come back a few days later one more time. So that's pretty much three or four visits on a really bad green pool. And they need to pay you for your time to come back there each of those days and for the time while you're working there. And so if you just want to base the rate on the service calls, you know, the basic one hour service call would be $90 in my area, 85 or $90. And so... Just basically for four visits it would be $360 if you charge $90 per visit. So you can see that it's going to really add up to time and money for you if you charge anything less than $400 because then you have to clean the filter and do all of the balancing of the pool, purchase the chemicals that you're going to put in there, and all the labor you're doing. So just minimum just for the service visits, if you do four stops, you're looking at $360. And so you don't want to shortchange yourself. By charging too little for a green pool if the customer doesn't want to do the green pool cleanup because you're charging too much then you can just walk away from it because you don't want to waste your time there maybe they want it want it done for 250 or something like that and it's a level four pool you can't really do that now again the lower level pools you can definitely cut down on your cost because you're only going to visit it once maybe twice and then if they want to go on servers you can kind of incorporate that into the following service call the following week and so you get away with it with the level one and two, maybe a level three is kind of pushing it, but you can kind of get away with charging less because you're going to show up at the pool again as a regular service call the following week anyway. And so you may just need one or two visits that first week, and then you're going to put it on service, put it in your route, and you're going to go back there and do any touch-up work the third visit you go there. So that may be a possibility. Don't rule that out either. I'm just trying to give you a baseline here. So that you don't lose money when you're doing the green pool bidding or green pool cleanup. Because when I first started, I lost some money because I wasn't smart about it. I didn't really do the math in my head. 
and I was just trying to do the green pool cleanup to get the client. And you can do both. You can get paid for it and get the client if you price it correctly. With that said, I definitely would recommend that you go back into the podcast history. If you go to my website, swimmingpoollearning.com, and click on the banner, there's a pod- podcast icon there. And if you want to listen to the previous podcast with Rudy Stankowitz about algae, I highly recommend listening to his podcast on swimming pool algae. And of course, getting his book, How to Get Rid and Prevent how to get rid of and prevent swimming pool algae, and it's available on Amazon.com. A great guide to cleaning up pools that have algae problems, and it kind of goes hand-in-hand hand with this particular podcast episode here. And if you're in the industry and you're looking to enhance your business, definitely check out my coaching program at PoolWayCoaching.com. A lot of great benefits for joining there, including a discount on your general liability insurance. Again, you can learn more at PoolWayCoaching.com. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Have a great your week and God bless. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open seven days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.